Best Upcoming Strategy Games of 2024 Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Gen. Today I've got something special lined up for all you strategy game fans out there. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the most anticipated strategy games set to release this year. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Number 30 Anvil Empires is an MMO where thousands of players come together to shape the course of history. Experience the thrill of conquest as you march alongside allies in epic battles unfolding over weeks. Whether leading massive armies or orchestrating sprawling sieges, every encounter tests strategy, skill, and coordination. With advanced server tech enabling up to a thousand players in real-time melee battles, Battlefield pulses with unprecedented intensity. Yet conquest is just the beginning. Build and expand your empire from humble hamlets to bustling towns shared by scores of players. Engage in vital activities like farming, hunting, and trade to fill your war efforts and ensure prosperity. Forge alliances, construct fortresses, and defend against sieges and secure your realm's future. Anvil Empires offers a dynamic world where conquest, diplomacy, and empire building collide. Number 29 Ara, History Untold, offers players the opportunity to lead their nation through the course of history, from humble beginnings to the pinnacle of human achievement. You will build nations, cultivate culture, engage in diplomacy, and compete against rivals in this historically themed title. Promising both familiar and innovative gameplay mechanics, the game offers open-ended strategic possibilities. With various biomes and leaders to explore, players' decisions will shape the world they create and determine their legacy. While its release window is set for 2024, Ara History Untold will be available on PC Game Pass from day one. Number 28 Bellrite offers a fresh take on the survival genre with its grounded medieval setting, management elements, and narrative focus. Players take on the role of a character falsely accused of regicide, starting alone in the wilderness and tasked with founding a settlement to ensure survival and plan revenge against the royal family. Players can grow the village, defend against attacks, forge alliance, and lead a rebellion against the sovereign with fully simulated villager lives. As players navigate through the game, they uncover family secrets and unravel mysteries within the kingdom. With customizable equipment, tactics, and action-packed combat, Bellrite promises a unique blend of medieval life simulation and strategic warfare. Originally slated for a December 2023 release, the development period has been extended to early 2024 to add polish and improvements. Number 27 Global Conflagration offers a modern take on real-time strategy games, drawing inspirations from classic titles while incorporating modern controls and streamlined mechanics. Set in a chaotic Europe, players must navigate the actions of an elusive private military company that threatens to throw the continent into turmoil once again. With three distinct factions, players can build diverse armies consisting of tanks, infantries, helicopters, and aircrafts, each of its own unique abilities. The game offers three modes, multiplayer PvP with various team sizes, skirmishes against AI opponents, and an upcoming campaign that promises to delve into the unexpected military incursions in Europe. Number 26 Dustfront offers a gripping blend of classic real-time strategy and grand strategy elements, set against the backdrop of a world ravaged by warfare and turmoil. What sets Dustfront apart is its procedural world and non-linear campaign, where missions unfold amidst dynamically generated maps and external rules. Players must navigate the challenges of asymmetrical gameplay, facing off against enemies with superior numbers and strength. Economic management becomes paramount, as mining and production within territories influence the strategic landscape and fuel the war effort. Interactive events unfold in captured regions, presenting players with many dialogues, merchants, and mercenaries offering unique units and resources. Number 25 Age of History 3 is an expansive grand strategy game that invites players to shape the destiny of their civilization throughout the ages. As you lead your civilization, you'll navigate through various eras, shaping your legacy age by age. In the game, technology plays a crucial role in the advancement of your civilization. By progressing through the technology tree, you unlock better buildings and stronger units, reflecting the evolution of your society over time. Army composition is key to success in battles. You must carefully choose frontline units for direct combat and secondline units for support or specialized functions. With over 63 unique unit types available, you have a wide range of strategic options to explore. Number 24 
Dwarf Real-Time Strategic Conflict, an upcoming RTS game based on the open RA engine, has garnered attention for its promising gameplay and nostalgic appeal. Set in the classic isometric RTS format, the game features elaborate base building, resource gathering, and intense battles with unique units. Players can choose from three factions, each with its own distinct characteristics and arsenals. While there is no release date as of yet, Dwarf promises to launch with Linux support and multiplayer capabilities of up to 8 players per match. Number 23 Fragile Existence, a forthcoming RTS-slash-SIM hybrid, is set in a future where Earth is destroyed by an alien fleet. Players lead humanity's last surviving ships through space, facing a relentless pursuit by the enemy. The game blends real-time strategy with tactical pause, requiring players to manage fleet maintenance, resource gathering, and survival decisions. Exploration involves setting up an extraction base on planets, defending against hostiles, and balancing risk and reward. The game features a seamless transition between ground and space combat, with the ability to drop ship units and buildings into planets and moons, crash spaceships and ground units, and use fleets to bombard surface targets. Planned for release late this year, the game will be localized into multiple languages and can be pushlisted on Steam. Number 22 Infection Free Zone is a strategic survival game where players must navigate the post-apocalyptic landscape to establish safe zones and rebuild society. The gameplay involves a mix of resource management, base building, exploration, and combat. Players have the freedom to choose any location worldwide using real-world data from OpenStreetMap to establish their own safe zones. Players must scavenge for supplies, fortify their settlements, and fend off attacks from hordes of infected creatures. As players explore the environment, they may encounter other survivor groups, some of which are friendly and willing to trade, while others are hostile and pose a threat. Interactions with these groups can lead to alliances, conflicts, or trading opportunities, adding depth to the gameplay experience. Number 21 Ever wish to storm through medieval Europe armed with futuristic weaponry and modern vehicles? Well, this game's for you. Kingmakers, a medieval warfare simulator with a twist, time travel, and attack helicopters. Players control elite troopers sent back in time to prevent a modern-day apocalypse, armed with vehicles, assault rifles, and airstrikes. The game promises a blend of strategy and action, with intense combat scenes and the ability to rewrite history. Kingmaker offers multiple perspectives, allowing players to engage in top-level strategy or direct combat. Currently, there's no release date and the game will be available exclusively on Steam. Number 20 Falling Frontier is a sci-fi RTS game where ship design, reconnaissance, and logistics are paramount. Set in a new source system, players explore procedurally generated planets, moons, and asteroid fields while building and upgrading various facilities. Battles feature intuitive controls and deep mechanics, with shots capable of striking unintended targets and ships possessing vulnerable subsystems. Logistics plays a crucial role, allowing weaker opponents to engage in guerrilla warfare and stronger forces to strategically distribute defense flotillas. Command crews are personalized with unique traits and abilities, influencing efficient flotilla composition. Number 19 Celestial Empire places you in the shoes of a provincial governor in ancient China, tasked with designing and managing thriving cities. Your task is to design and oversee every aspect of your city's development, from intricate urban planning to ensuring the welfare of your citizens. As you progress, you'll need to establish efficient production chains and manage trade routes with neighboring settlements. But it's not just about aesthetics. You'll need to ensure the survival of your people through harsh winters and disasters, all while fulfilling the needs and maintaining their happiness. Immerse yourself in the rich world of ancient China, where stunning natural landscapes and mythical elements blend seamlessly with urban development. Number 18 Norland is a story-generating city builder set to release on Steam later this year. Drawing inspiration from sandbox titles like RimWorld, Norland aims to provide a meaningful and expansive experience. Developers plan to avoid early access, opting for internal playtests leading up to the launch. In Norland, Players manage a noble family and their city, navigating complex interactions and decisions that shape a dynamic story. Expect unique starting conditions, global and local events, city building, economic management, army management, and warfare against neighboring kingdoms. Scheduled for release on Steam this fall, players can wishlist Norland on Steam store page for updates. Number 17 
Cataclysmo offers a twist on the traditional RTS genre. Set in a dark, autumnal forest, players control various troop types to fend off attacks from mysterious turkey-like creatures. The game seamlessly integrates building mechanics into the RTS gameplay, requiring players to repair bridges, construct defenses, and manage resources like wood and stone. As night falls, players must defend their base from relentless turkey assaults, adding a tower defense element to the gameplay. Cataclysmo emphasizes the satisfaction of placing blocks and making strategic decisions, but also presents the constant threat of disaster if structures are not properly built. Cataclysmo is set to release on Steam in quarter 2 of 2024, with a demo already available for players out to try. Number 16 Outpost Infinity Siege, developed by Lightning Games and set to release on March 26, 2024, offers a unique hybrid gaming experience that combines elements of FPS, tower defense, and real-time strategy. The game offers players a comprehensive experience in creating and defending their outposts. Players can expect to search for crafting resources, engage in co-op gameplay, and employ tower defense mechanics with RTS elements. Players can switch between soldier and commander views in real time, either engaging directly in combat or directing their outposts from a bird eye's view. Additionally, players can command a powerful cataphract mech for increased mobility and firepower as they progress through the game. Number 15 Stormgate, the highly anticipated real-time strategy game from Frost Giant Studios, is set to be a successor to classics like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2. Founded by former Blizzard employees, the game blends fantasy and sci-fi elements with a vibrant art style. Set to release on Steam in 2024 as a free-to-play title, Stormgate pits future spacefaring humans against a fantasy alien race known as the Infernal Hosts. The game features advanced gameplay mechanics, including resource management, unit production, and combat strategies reminiscent of classic RTS titles. With various units like construction robots, VOB units, combat soldiers, artillery mechs, and support units, players can engage in base building, army creation, and battles against enemy factions. Number 14. Age of Mythology, originally developed by Ensemble Studios and published by Maxsoft, remains a beloved real-time strategy game. Its remastered version, Age of Mythology Extended Edition, released in 2014, continues to attract players on Steam, showcasing its enduring popularity. Promising updated graphics, features, and more, it aims to deliver the essence of the original game with a fresh twist. Scheduled for release on PC and Xbox, it's expected to launch on PC first and possibly join Xbox Game Pass though no release date has been confirmed. Enthusiasts hope for a debut in 2024 or early 2025. Number 13. The Crust is an immersive economic strategy game set on the moon, where players extract valuable resources, build automated production chains, manage scientific expeditions, and make tough decisions to create a launchpad for humanity's deep space exploration. Balancing survival and colonization, players oversee infrastructure, resources, and their own team of lunar colonists. With a focus on constructing and automating, players can build huge factories on and beneath the lunar surface, design production lines, and automate them using programmable conveyor splitters and innovative lunar transport. Exploration is key as players venture on expeditions to search for new materials and utilize them effectively. The Crust is set to launch on the first quarter of 2024, with a Kickstarter campaign planned before it's released. Number 12 Zephon is a post-apocalyptic 4x strategy game. The game offers a blend of city management, turn-based tactical combat, research, diplomacy, and narrative quests. In Zephon, players control the survivors of humanity and must navigate between two opposing forces, the indifferent abomination of The Voice and the uncaring automata of Zephon. The game features intense turn-based survival strategy in both single and multiplayer modes, allowing players to command diverse units, plan optimal build orders, and deploy tactical operations to gain an advantage. Players will also engage in city management, expanding their settlements from scrappy bases to sprawling metropolises, and fortifying strategic points to defend against enemies. Number 11 Millennia, a new 4X strategy game from Seaprompt and published by Paradox Interactive, enters the historical strategy game arena with familiar gameplay reminiscent of Civilization. While it introduces some unique features such as more involved combat and an undo button for strategic mistakes, it still retains much of Civ's recognizable formula. 
players embark on a journey through ten distinct ages, each of its own historical and alternate history scenarios, shaping the course of their civilization. With the introduction of national spirits, players can customize their nation's identity and technologies. Economy and combat play crucial roles, with resource management and strategic military decisions influencing gameplay. Number 10 Homeworld 3 is the latest installment in the acclaimed Homeworld series, known for its immersive space strategy gameplay and rich storytelling. The game features both single-player and multiplayer modes, allowing players to command fleets of spacecrafts, engage in epic battles, space battles, and explore vast star systems. From commanding your fleet to outmaneuvering your enemies in intense space battles, every decision you make will shape the course of the game, plus with environmental effects like particle storms and asteroid fields thrown into the mix. Homeworld 3, initially scheduled for release on March 8th, has been delayed to May 13th, following feedback from external playtesting and reception from its public demo. Number 9 Civilization 7, the next installment of the iconic Civilization series, holds tremendous potential to build upon the franchise's rich legacy and continue to innovate gameplay elements. With over three decades of history, the Civilization formula has remained largely unchanged, offering players the opportunity to build and lead their own civilization from ancient times to the modern era. Civilization 7 was announced at the start of the year, but since then there has been little information regarding its development or release. While previous Civilization entries were often announced and released in the same year, the studio's current workload and lack of updates suggest a longer wait for Civilization 7's release. Number 8 Sanctuary Shattered Sun is a traditional real-time strategy game set in the year 2758, where players control armies of a gargantuan Dyson Sphere, Sanctuary, encircling the sun. It features innovative mechanics like earth-cracking superweapons and climate control systems, with macro-focus gameplay, players can manage construction queues and command units before completion. Physically simulated projectiles add immersion, while strategic zoom enables control from orbit to ground level. Sanctuary supports up to 10,000 units in a single match, promising a grand-scale RTS experience. Number 7 Menace is a turn-based tactical RPG set in a sci-fi universe where players respond to distress calls across various planets employing infantry, mechs, and tanks to save the day. Inspired by the successful elements of Battle Brothers such as army management and challenging combat, Menace expands on these concepts with larger battlefields, 3D graphics, and mysterious invading forces threatening the galactic frontier. The game features suppression and cover mechanics, combined with arms warfare, procedurally generated missions, and extensive player customization options for playstyles, equipment, and allies. Menace is set to launch in early access for PC via Steam and Epic Game Store in 2024. Number 6 The Commando series is making a comeback with The Commando's Origins, a new game developed by the new studio set to release this year. Returning to its stealth tactics roots, the game promises to feature the original Commando squad, a lengthy campaign, a revamped user interface, and an improved order system. Additionally, it will offer two player co op modes allowing players to team up with a friend for tactical missions. Players will undertake missions across various landscapes, from the European coastline to Arctic plains and African deserts, experiencing the squad's formation firsthand. The game features more than 10 missions with both core and optional objectives, offering multiple ways to complete each task. Number 5 Broken Arrow is a large-scale real-time strategy game. It aims to provide a modern warfare twist to the genre, featuring over 200 realistic military units and technologies. The game emphasizes careful planning and strategic thinking, with victory depending on selecting the right combinations of units and weapons. The trailer gives us a glimpse of some of the action, with naval landings, expansive maps, and massive armies duking it out. And get this, you can customize your unit slowdown to suit the needs of the battlefield. Plus, buildings can be demolished and units move realistically, which is a huge plus. Broken Arrow plans to release this year, but there isn't a specific date yet. Number 4 Tempest Rising is an upcoming base building RTS from Slipgate Unworks and 2B Games. The game draws heavy inspiration from Command and Conquer but features modern visuals and gameplay. It features base building, resource management, and modern twists in an alternate history setting following a global conflict. Players choose from three unique factions, each of its own technology and approach to combat. 
Tempest Rising offers two single-player campaigns with 15 missions each, allowing for players to customize their armies for different missions. Additionally, there is a classic skirmish mode for offline play and multiplayer mode for competitive online matches with ranked matchmaking. Number 3 in Men of War 2, players will command diverse units with unique specializations, from air and armor to infantry and support, in fast-paced battles filled with tactical depth. Combat in Men of War 2 is highly tactical, requiring players to utilize the terrain and environment to their advantage. Players can set up ambushes, flank enemy positions, and coordinate attacks to outmaneuver the opponents. What sets Men of War 2 apart is its attention to detail. Every unit behaves realistically, and the environment is fully instructable. You can blast through buildings, carve out new paths, and create chaos on the battlefield. It's a dynamic experience where every decision matters. Men of War 2 offers both single-player campaigns and multiplayer modes. Number 2 Frostpunk 2 is shaping up to be a gripping sequel to its predecessor, continuing the challenging city-building survival gameplay set in a frozen post-apocalyptic world. The game promises to raise the stakes even higher with new features and mechanics, Set 30 years after the original, players will face political turmoil and worker uprisings, adding layers of complexity to the already intense decision-making process. The trailer reveals enhanced UI elements and narrative depth, highlighting the consequences of leadership choices on inhabitants of your city, with its focus on moral dilemmas and the struggle for survival. Crosspunk 2 will be released on the first half of 2024 and will be available on PC Game Pass from day one, initially available for PC before making its way to consoles. Number 1 Mana Lords, an upcoming medieval city-building real-time strategy game developed by Slavic Magic, is highly anticipated for its historically accurate gameplay and intense tactical battles. Originally set to release in 2023, the game's launch has been pushed to April 26, 2024, with an early access release planned. Despite the delay, Mana Lords has garnered significant interest, amassing over 2 million wishlists on Steam. Mana Lords features a gridless building system that mimics a natural growth of medieval towns, allowing players to shape districts and upgrade buildings. The game also emphasizes realistic medieval battles, where positioning, formations, equipment, morale, and weather conditions play crucial roles. 